Hey folks, welcome to Military Fitness Prep. And in today's video, we're going to discuss calories, why they are so important and how they're gonna help you pass your selection process and get you ready for basic training. Okay, so calories. Now, we all know what calories are. We know all foods contain calories, um, which is basically, basically a unit of energy and if you're training for the military, if you're um, working out, if you're training for basic training or for your fitness test, you are going to have to have a look at your calories, ensure you are getting enough calories to not only fuel your exercise, but help you recover from those exercise sessions and also help you build a lean, strong body that is capable of going through the kind of tests that you're going to get, get, get put through and also a body that is capable of doing that without getting injured okay so we're going to try and minimize that injury um, risk and help you get through this so um, let's start with um, how many calories you need per day now there are equations that we can do so there are things that um, we can look at very specific to you but what I like to do is get people started on a very, very simple system where you simply track your food for a couple of days and you go by how you feel, you go by your energy levels and you go by how your body is reacting um, rather than looking too deeply into the numbers at this stage. Okay, so um, how do we do that? Now, the, a basic ball, ballpark figure for most of you is two to 3,000 calories per day. Now, if... If you're a lady training, if you're a woman training for um, the military, I would suggest you'd go for the lower end, so around two to two and a half thousand. Um, obviously, gentlemen, you're looking for two and a half to three thousand calories per day to get you through. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking that is a lot of calories, and what a lot of you are trying to do is actually um, that I've spoken to are trying to reduce your calorie intake. You're trying to reduce that because you're trying to reduce body fat. Now. Um, big mistake there folks if you cut too low you are not going to lose body fat you're going to lose muscle if you cut too low you're also going to put yourself at a higher risk of injury because you're not going to repair that muscle after your sessions so uh, we've got the ballpark figure there now the next step is looking at how how do we track that how do we know that what we're taking in every day is giving us that amount of calories now um, a very simple way of doing that is using an app um, called my fitness pal you do not, I repeat, you do not have to upgrade to the premium to use this app. And you do not, again, do not have to record this consistently. Okay, you need a ballpark figure. And the reason you don't have to record this consistently is because you should, and you are, if you are serious about your military career, you should and you are going to be training most days of the week for one to two hours. Okay, so you're gonna to have to fuel that exercise and make sure you're getting it in. So my fitness pal, very, very good. You simply enter your food intake over a couple of days and that will give you a figure. Okay, now if you find that you're not hitting those numbers, there are a few simple ways that you can put into place, a few simple things you can do to up your calories. Um, some of you, if you're in excess of those calories, you need to do some simple things to reduce, okay? So if you are looking at increasing your calories, the, the easiest way to do this is to increase your fat intake, okay? Now, we also have to make sure that we have a balance of those protein and carbohydrates. Um, but if, you, if you're fairly confident that they're where they should be, then your fat intake needs to increase. Now, the types of foods that you should be getting your fats from um, a very simple way to do that are nuts and seeds and also including avocado in your diet. Okay, they, they are the three things, the three simplest things you can do to increase your calorie intake. Yes, you can use nut butters as well. So peanut butter, cashew nut butter, etc, etc. Um, so putting those in your diet will simply increase. Um, and once you do that, again, use my fitness pal, put in the numbers, the grams, how many you've eaten, and that will show you your calorie intake and that will help you hit those numbers. Now, if you're looking to reduce your calorie intake, you need to look at your balance of food. So what you might find is you, you're a little bit too excessive maybe on the protein levels, um, or you might be excessive on the carbohydrate levels. So you're gonna, gonna have to adjust, um, and a very simple way of adjusting those types of food is obviously just reducing your portion size um, in one or two meals in a day, okay? So, um, 
now you know how important calories are and what they're for and how they're going to help you you also know how many calories you should be shooting for aiming for every single day and you also know how you can track those calories using that very easy to use simple app called my fitness pal now another thing i want to just discuss with you quickly before you go is the quality of calories okay now this is another one which which a lot of people get confused with now when i discuss the quality of calorie with you what i'm referring to is where you get the calorie from so the type of food so when we discuss um, a quality calorie we might do a quality cal calorie which could be a chicken breast versus a chicken drumstick which is a processed chicken form okay now the difference is in the processed food the chicken drumstick so i'm talking about those ones that are coated in bread the kind of ones you used to get at school um, what you might find is they have um, basically just ground up a uh, some chicken they've added lots of salt lots of preservatives in there and lots of flavoring even e numbers um, so even though it might have 18 to 20 grams of protein in that portion we might find that the extras that are in there are going to affect our fat storage, they're going to affect our energy levels, and they're going to affect the result that we see from eating that type of food. So um, in short, let's get away as much as possible from processed food, processed calories to give you the best result and also the best chance at passing your military selection tests and also getting you ready for basic training. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope that was very clear for you. If you do have any questions, um, make sure you just pop them in the comments below. Um, and remember, I'm always here on hand to help you out whenever you need it. And that's Military Fitness Prep. Um, leaving it there.